Hey guys, it's Lady Pelvic bringing you my first ever game review with actual gameplay footage! This game review is on Hyrule Warriors. Now, a lot of people say Hyrule Warriors is pretty much Dynasty Warriors wrapped up in a Zelda skin. Well, as someone who has never played Dynasty Warriors in their entire life, I did a little research. Turns out, that's exactly what it is. Still, it is a hell of an exciting game and it is instantly gratifying. Check it out. The gameplay to Hyrule Warriors is quite simple. Button mash, button mash, button mash. Mash the hell out of those buttons. See an enemy, button mash. See a pot, button mash. See grass, button mash. See nothing, button mash anyway. In Hyrule Warriors, you go against armies of enemies, you simply hack and slash away at them. You're pretty much 80% more powerful than most enemies. Only enemies with a health bar above them are the ones you have to do a little more damage to. If you continuously mash between regular attacks and the strong attack button, you do different combos of attacks. Believe it or not, but this system is nice because you don't have to learn new combos with every character. You start the game with Legend Mode, or Story Mode, as Link who is a knight in training. Now, let me take a moment to run you people through the graphics. Freaking gorgeous. Every Zelda fan should be like, finally, up to par graphics. The Legend of Zelda cast has never looked so good. And busty. Anyways, as you trudge through the story mode, you unlock more playable characters, maps, and weapons. The story mode introduces four new characters created for Hyrule Warriors, Sia, Volga, Wizardro, and Lana. The objective to each level varies and changes. Sometimes you must capture enemy keeps, other times it can be defeat all enemy captains, and so on. As you near the end of story mode, you view the story in a different light, through the villain's eyes. The villains only have three levels, while the heroes have 15, so for some it could give the game a little bit of an off-balance feeling. Going through the levels of Hyrule Warriors, you're bound to stumble on certain things. Golden Skatulas, if slain, leave behind a piece of an illustration. Cuckoos, which can be an ally or an enemy, and familiar giant monsters. When defeating meaningful enemies, they usually drop items. Hearts, weapon power-ups, magic bottles, weapons, or most importantly, materials. Materials can be used at the bazaar. Hyrule Warriors has a simple, limited, yet customizable chart system. If you have successfully gathered enough materials, you can upgrade a badge to make your warrior more powerful in battle. Speaking of the bazaar, you can also train your warrior, aka buy levels which gets pretty pricey. Also you can create potions which gives you certain effects while in battle. Lastly, the smithy allows you to combine weapons to give them better effects. Effects being more experience, more damage, higher material drop rate, etc. Adventure mode is the second mode Hyrule Warriors flaunts. Adventure mode is the map of the original Legend of Zelda where you can unlock weapons and characters that aren't obtainable in the Legend mode. Certain areas you have to search with a classic Legend of Zelda item to find and unlock said item or character. As you venture through this map, the harder the challenges become. From defeating X amount of enemies in a certain time frame, to all attacks being devastating, this mode is how you reveal some of the best weapons the game has to offer. Hyrule Warriors sadly does not support online multiplayer. However, it is two player. One person plays on the gamepad while the other uses the Wii mode and the TV screen. While playing co-op, the resolution does take a few hits. Thankfully, it's not so bad you get an eyesore. To be honest, I don't care if this game is a marketing scheme. Nintendo and Omega Force created something beautiful. Hyrule Warriors is a fun and fast-paced game with constant head nods to the Legend of Zelda games before it. It can get a little repetitive at times, especially when farming for higher quality materials. But the game does do its best to mix things up in adventure mode with different challenges and a plethora of classic Zelda characters to choose from. Plus, the upcoming DLC, which I already bought, should spice up the game with new maps, weapons, and characters. Overall, Hyrule Warriors was a fun and great experience, and as a diehard Zelda fan, seeing all the characters of the Legend of Zelda series from different games all compact into one beautifully designed game, I'm a happy lady. So that is why I give Hyrule Warriors an 8 out of 10. 8 for gameplay, 8 for story, and 9 for graphics. 
So tell me if you guys agree in the comments with my review, if you liked it, disliked it, what you thought of my gameplay, how awesome I was. What you thought of the story mode, what you thought of the game, did you buy a Wii U because of it? Cause I know I did. As well as the upcoming DLC, what are you looking for? What new maps, weapons, and characters are you looking forward to? I know for sure for the Majora's Mask DLC, I hope to see Skull Kid and maybe Tingle? Maybe Cafe? Thanks a lot guys for watching, like, comment, and subscribe, share with your friends, and remember to comment below what you thought of this review. Until next time.